Hello everyone, Andrew Demeter here with ChatFuel. This is in part kind of a test of the live streaming setup that I have right here, but more importantly in this, I wanna give you some value to and show you the best practices for sending broadcasts and sequences giving people the ability to opt out and basically preventing any negative feedback that you might get from users, therefore potentially revoking messaging, messaging access or privileges from your page. So let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna create a new blank bot here essentially. And to do that, I'm going to delete all of this default content here. And so what we're gonna do right off the bat here is basically as soon as somebody gets into our bot, we wanna say, hey, do you wanna to subscribe to future messages? If they say yes, then that's great, we subscribe them. If no, we don't, and then we'll set that up in the broadcast tab. So let's start off here saying, would you like to receive future updates, for example? And then we'll use quick replies here. And so the first one will say yes, second one will say no. We will not process this by AI because that could potentially trigger the default answer if we don't have an AI rule set up. And then we'll save this to the user attribute. Um, let's see, subscribed. We'll do, and actually when I, when I create these attributes, I like to actually add a question mark at the end. So then when I'm setting things up, I can actually answer the question and you'll see how this is useful in just a second here. So I'll say subscribed question mark. And obviously if they click yes, that means they are subscribed. If they click no, they aren't. So let's now go into the broadcast tab and let's see how we'll set this up. So now whenever you're sending broadcasts, obviously you only wanna send these messages to people who have voluntarily opted in. If they didn't opt in, if they said they didn't wanna receive future notifications or updates, you don't wanna add them because obviously then they're gonna try to unsubscribe and give you negative feedback if you don't give them that capability. So obviously we can use pretty much any of these first three options, but let's go to deliver message now. And again, we will filter according to what we just set up in the welcome message in the onboarding. So let's choose that attribute if subscribed is yes. So this means only if they have subscribed, we're gonna send them this message. Obviously we can use any of these different tags here. I'll just keep it on update by default. And now here's where the best practices come in as well. Obviously, it's so crucial to give people the ability not only to subscribe, but also the ability to unsubscribe, basically saying, hey, I don't wanna receive these messages anymore, and you don't wanna continually annoy them if that's the case. So actually, before we set up this, I need to create a new block that will change that the state of that attribute. So let me delete this group of blocks just for simplicity here. And I'm gonna delete these for the sequence as well, actually. And let's create a new block here by creating a new group. And we'll just keep it the default name, new group one. And now let's call this block unsubscribe. And on this, we're going to change the state of that attribute. So let's add a new user attribute. We're gonna keep it that same subscribe, but we're gonna change it to the no state here, the no value if they unsubscribe. So then let's add a confirmation message as well. Uh, sorry to see you go, Andrew, in this case. Uh, you've unsubscribed. Cool. And then if we wanted to, we could also add a button here that resubscribes them or something like that. I'm not, not gonna get that complex just yet. Um, so now that we have this, which again, if the user goes to this block, it's gonna change that state and then we're gonna exclude them from future broadcasts. So let's go back into the broadcast tab and see what that looks like. So what we wanna do here is again, it saved it. If, so this is the group of users who we want to send messages to only if they are subscribed is yes. And obviously if they are not subscribed, if that subscribe value is no, we're not gonna send it. So then we could send whatever message we want. But again, this is the important setup here. You know, you type your message here, blah, blah, blah. And then always, always, always here, add a button that says unsubscribe, stop notifications, you know, stop messaging me, something like that. And have this block link to that uh, block that we just created unsubscribe. So obviously if they click that, it's going to immediately unsubscribe them and any message you send in the future, it, they're not going to fall into this category. So it's going to exclude them pretty. Um, Self-explanatory stuff, the setup can get a little tricky, but this is how you do that. Now, as far as sequences, it's essentially the same thing, but I wanna show you how this works as well. So 
let's forget about this and let's instead of giving them well let's still give them this yes or no option but i'm going to actually let's use buttons instead i think that'll make things easier to understand so i'm going to delete everything well actually i'll keep it for a second so would you like to receive future updates if we want to use a sequence instead of sending them broadcast we can do just that so i'll create a new sequence and keep all the default stuff but i'll delete these two blocks right here and once i do that cool so would you like to receive future updates i'll create one uh, button here that says yes and we'll lead this block to um we'll call it sequence subscribe and if they say no we'll just direct them to an empty block or something like that because um, we won't be subscribing them there will be no need to unsubscribe them at this point so that's the empty block and then so if they subscribe if they go here we're going to subscribe them and we'll say you know thanks for subscribing and now here instead of using a user attribute we can use this two sequence card right here we click that and we subscribe them to the sequence over here, new sequence one. So now obviously this will subscribe them to the sequence. Any messages we have in here, they will get on a scheduled basis. But just like in the broadcast tab, we also want to give them the ability to opt out. So uh, we can say, you know, just like in the broadcast tab, blah, blah, blah. And then we can say, you know, stop messaging me. And we'll link this to the same unsubscribe block. But again, instead of changing the attribute, we will delete this and let's, um, let's add an unsubscribe from sequence plugin. So this works in the same way, but it's just for sequences instead of the broadcast tab. So unsubscribe from sequence, and it doesn't matter if it's above the text or below really, and we'll add them here or unsubscribe them from this sequence. Okay, so high level overview just again of what we just did. Would you like to receive future updates if they if you're using a sequence messaging in this case, then if they click yes, we're taking them here. It subscribes them to the sequence. And then if at any point, say uh, say we had another message here, um, we'll do the same thing, blah, blah, blah. And we could say unsubscribe instead, link that to the unsubscribe block. So now say that they're subscribed on day one, they get this, they're fine. But on the next day, they want to unsubscribe. Or actually, say that on the first day, they want to unsubscribe. So they click that, it takes them to the unsubscribe block, which unsubscribes them. So basically now, in other words, they're not going to get this second message or any number of messages uh, going forward. So uh, hopefully, I guess that sounds a lot more complex when I go over it than it actually is. But hopefully that makes sense. Again, um, for a lot of you, this is probably common sense stuff. I'm just doing this, again, as partially a streaming test of the quality, um, but also to show the people who always ask, you know, how do I unsubscribe or subscribe someone and all that? Uh, we have some basic documentation on the docs.chatfuel.com. Um, but I think hopefully this helps making sense of things both in the broadcast tab, how to subscribe and unsubscribe, but also with sequences. Um, cause I know it can get kind of confusing when you're using attributes with one and the subscribe and unsubscribe to sequence plugin in the other.